Greetings, I am Dapper Dan, the gentleman, and I'm back with another segment of A Gentleman's Domain. Now listen, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. Please forgive me. Would you forgive me? <laughs> Thanks. So today we're going to be talking about blazers and how best to fit it into your wardrobe and get the best look out of your blazers. Now, when you think about a blazer, in many people's minds, they only think of it as a suit separate, but not necessarily so. A blazer is something that actually can make a statement all on its own. And if you think about it, you can have your whole wardrobe to revolve around your blazer. Now, it's my idea that I believe that gentlemen should have at least two or three blazers that they can mix and match in their out in their wardrobe for their different outfits, right? So a navy is always standard. This is a navy blazer, but it does have a white trim, which makes it stand out a little bit more. But the thing is, it makes it stand out a little bit more. So when someone sees it, it's easily recognizable. So what I would suggest, and if you don't have any blazers at all, your first blazer should be a navy blue blazer, standard blazer, possibly with the brass or gold buttons because it is so versatile. You can wear it, of course, with a contrasting pair of chinos, which are your cotton uh, khakis, as we call them, or some people call them, right? Or you could actually do it and dress it up just a slightly bit more with a contrasting pair of slacks, like a gray. That is a good look as well. And you can wear it with jeans. So, if you're gonna wear it with jeans, though, you want to make sure that your jeans are a nice fit. Now, I'm talking, I'm not talking about tight or fitted necessarily, but a, not too baggy. Never wear a baggy pair of jeans with a, with your a blazer. It just makes it look sloppy and unrefined. So, wear a good, nice fitting pair of jeans that don't bunch at the at the ankle. That look really nice. And to make sure that it keeps a nice crisp look, wear a hard bottom shoe. What I would suggest when wearing specifically a navy blue in, in a pair of jeans is a brown pair of shoes. You can wear a, a wingtip or um, even a loafer, a, a penny loafer or another slide on loafer. It looks really good. Even a, a tie up. Some people would disagree wearing a, a lace up shoe um, with a blazer and jeans. I think it's a great look. So go with it. Do it. Make sure you rock it well, right? Now, that's for the bottom parts of your outfit. Now, when you're wearing a shirt, you want to make sure that you don't wear a shirt that is uh, more formal. So, uh, the, those, those widespread collars, it just doesn't look good when you're wearing with jeans. Um, so, if you want to wear it and dress it up a bit, of course, you might get away with that. But if you're going to wear a, a spread collar, make sure that you put a tie on with it. It just makes sure, make sure that the, the looks match and there's no uh, mismatch in the look that you're trying to go for. Now, if you want to wear a, a standard dress shirt like I'm wearing today, you can wear that. And you can uh, wear it unbuttoned, <laughs> as I demonstrate. Uh, you can unbutton it and make sure that it's nice and casual, nice and comfortable. That's a good look if you're going to wear it with jeans. Or you can button it up like I do. Most people think that it's awkward to have your top button buttoned without a tie, but I like it, so I do it. And like I always say, hey, if you know the rules, then you can break the rules. So go with it. And if you're going to wear a collar, collared shirt with your blazer, make sure that the collar stays inside. The collar is functional. It's part of your dress shirt. It's not an accessory. So you never want to rock it outside. You look like something from 1975. That's not the look you want to go for. Keep it classy. Keep it clean. Keep your collars inside. <laughs> and that also goes for if you're wearing a sweater with a dress shirt, keep your collar inside. It's just super sharp and makes, makes you look like you know what you're doing. So remember that. And pop a pocket square in your pocket. It just adds a much needed dimension to your whole, your whole entire outfit. This is kind of a matchy matchy situation. It's very, very, uh, very clean, very standard, very sharp, I believe. And um, it's not something that's blowing, the, blowing you out of the water. It's not innovative necessarily, but if I want to add a red or a green or an orange or whatever, you really can get away with it. I could have done any color pocket square today and it would have fit really, really nicely with a blazer and a standard shirt like I'm wearing. And I could do this with jeans, of course, or a khaki 
or a nice pair of slacks. But don't match your 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 your, your blazer, excuse me, with your bottom because it looks like it possibly could be a suit, but it's not. And that looks like you really, again, don't know what you're doing. So a little contrast goes a long way when you're wearing a blazer. Those are just a few tips that I wanted to give you guys for today on this episode of A Gentleman's Domain. Please join me as we come back for another time, talk about another uh, another topic. As I always say, please let me know if there's something that you want to talk about. Let me know if you have questions. Put them in the in the questions and any of your questions, put them in the comments below. Send me a, a private message. I'll be glad to hear from all of you. We're here to learn and grow together. Is that right? So it's been my pleasure to be here with you today. And as I always say, you only get one chance to make a first impression. 